order to obtain the best result, a key factor is correct selection of patients. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the diagnosis is correct. Sometimes this involves getting an extra opinion. Sometimes it involves doing more tests. But we have to make sure that we do know what the correct diagnosis is. Once we've got the correct diagnosis, we make sure that all other treatment options have been exhausted. There's no point offering someone an operation if we can improve them with medications. If a patient has gone through the usual treatment options and failed those options, or if they're suffering from significant side effects as a result of some of the medications that they're taking, then the next step is to consider surgery. Before recommending surgery, however, we need to make sure that patients don't have any other medical problems which would make the risks of surgery prohibitive. By these types of problems, we think about blood pressure, difficulties, bleeding issues, or other serious medical conditions. Another important aspect of patient selection is not only to make sure that we're offering them surgery for the right condition, but to offer them surgery at the right time. For example, in patients with, say, Parkinson's disease, having surgery earlier rather than later can often keep them working longer, it can allow them to continue to be independent for longer, and it can allow them to continue to maintain their social network as they were able to do before. If they let their condition go too far and they lose their ability to work, they become more depressed, they become more reliant on others to do the things that they could normally do for themselves, then they may have a lower chance of regaining some of those aspects of control over their own life and destiny.